I feel like I'm pregnant. I feel like I'm getting ready for my nursery. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy being a father. She's gonna go to school one day. <laughs> <laughs> today's vlog so here is what's going on i'm actually going to pilates in like a quick second day today but um i'm kind of embarrassed so yesterday when i went to pilates i went to class i straight up looked at my teacher in the face and i don't know why i thought of this because i was doing a really hard move and for some reason all I wanted to do and all I could think about was farting like letting it rip so loud I had to sit there and concentrate not on my breath work not on engaging my core not on using the right muscle groups No on not freaking farting and I <laughs> And so I looked her in the eye yesterday and I'm like do people ever fart on here? And she's looking at me and she goes do you need to fart? Do you need a minute? And I'm like no And now I'm worried about this morning because I drink a kombucha and I'm feeling it. It feels like a washing machine in this belly right now, but I gotta leave soon. Now, here's the crazy thing. We're baby proofing our entire house because um, it's just been crazy. Like ever since Sophia has been coming over, every single time that we put her on the ground, which by the way, she refuses to be held now. She hates her playpen, she hates being held. She wants to run. She doesn't even wanna walk. She wants to run full speed down the stairs. I start having a heart attack. There was that one moment we're standing in the kitchen and my fiance goes, where's Sophie? Andrew immediately runs to the stairs. I'm looking around panicked. Everyone's like, oh my God. She was hanging out with the Coca-Cola bottles near the garage, so it was fine. But what if it wasn't? We're gonna try to baby proof it as much as we can. One thing that she has been doing every single time she comes over is trying to stick her finger into those outlets. Did she teases your sister? Oh, she teases my sister. I saw this on FaceTime. I'm not even kidding. This girl is a brat. That's what we call her. She's the biggest brat in our house and we love her so much. So Sophie will walk to the outlet. Look at my sister. <laughs> Sophie? Sophie, no. And then my sister will turn around for two seconds and she's all up in there trying to lick the outlet, trying to stick her grubby little fingers in there. She is obsessed with outlets, which our family is traumatized by because I have been electrocuted as a child. I stuck, I think it was either a spoon or a paper clip or some sort of metal object into an outlet. They said that my hand was um, completely just burnt for like a week. Was I ever taken to the hospital? We'll never know. Every single person in my family has a different version of what happened that day. Literally every single person. My mom says, oh no, your sister was babysitting you and you stuck something in the outlet and your sister watched you do it. She didn't even stop you. She wanted you to electrocute yourself. So we just don't want Sophie to turn out like me. Bruh. That's what everybody's running joke is, that if she gets electrocuted, she's gonna turn out like me. So we need to build the crib, we need to put up the baby gate, we need to cover the outlets, it's gonna be a shit show, we got a high chair, so let's go do all of that. Well actually, let's not go do all of that because I gotta go fart in class real quick and then when I come back, we're gonna do all of that. So I will see you guys then. I bought a little something. Only Danda and Tiffany is not here, so let's see this. Oh, sure. It's supposed to be a spider. So if I do, oh my god, Tiffany's gonna freak out. Tiffany, can you come here? Then that's it. I got a surprise for, for yes. Tiffany. Come sit. Oh, for Tiffany. Just come sit. Tiffany, come sit. A surprise, Dan Dan? Oh, um, no, it's not scary, right? Why are you getting no. so close to me? Who? No, don't. I'm like, giving you a gift. Jeez. It's not like spider or something. Spider or something. No, I'm giving you a gift. What so the many, heck? Why are you so close to me? Okay. So many cranks. Why are you jumping? Don't you get too close. close. Yeah, too you much crank. Too much. Too much okay. This so okay. this is a really special one. I know. There's a special day coming up for you. <laughs> so here you go. Would you do it? You slide, slide open, but make sure you slide it like really fast. Fast. Yeah, just kind of open Why? it. Why? Because it's a little surprise. <laughs> Tiffany, why are you so freaked out? I'm so confused. <laughs> okay, you want that to open it for you? Okay, now I'm kind of guessing. <laughs> <laughs> Your boy, Mega Mind, let's go. <laughs> Mega Mind, I ain't no Mega Mind. Just open it really fast. Really fast. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> I don't want to do this call, okay? I freaking knew it, dude. What do you mean? <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> what the f This is so anticlimactic, man. I was expecting a better response. What the heck? So we just got the message that Cindy and Andrew are coming in one hour. So uh, we gotta do something. We can bring Andrew. No, we actually need to do something serious today. We need to baby proof the house. Do you know what baby proofing means? I believe it's like a celebration. Baby proofing is celebrating. <laughs> We're gonna have a party. Exactly. All right, let's get started. <laughs> Sophie started walking recently. And uh, do you guys see potential... Vendors in the house. Uh-huh. Oh, so we should make like, like a gate, like fences. So what does baby proofing mean? Safety. Baby safety. There we go, baby poop, come on. By the way, Stephanie's at, at Pilates right now, so <laughs> you're, uh, you guys have to deal with us now. <laughs> um, another thing is she's been sticking her finger into outlets. Yeah, like no joke. You put her in front of an outlet, she's gonna like stick it in. Follow me, guys. Okay. Ta-da! Oh my gosh. This is when you eat. Safety, baby safety 101. This is a fence, a gate to our stairs. So we're gonna install a gate there. Sophie can't roll it down like a watermelon. So here's uh, the fun part, okay? We gotta get everything installed before Andrew arrives in one hour. You have to build a bed in one hour. Oh, well, let's get started. What we yeah, then, then you build a bed. What about Tiffany? You build a chair. For so Sophie! If you messed up, Sophie's gonna crash. If the chair crashes, Tiffany, it's on you, okay? okay. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna supervise for a minute. I'm gonna supervise for a minute. Okay, all right, okay. Did you guys know high chairs are really expensive? Yeah, babies are not cheap. So the reason we're doing all of this is with the second baby coming, we want this experience, like we want to make our space much baby friendly. Yeah, so they can come over more, bring the new baby. Okay, then we need to bring this bed upstairs into a room. All right, Tiffany, we'll be right back, okay? We're literally about to have a nursery. This room is just dedicated for Sophie. Yeah, and the other baby, wow. the future baby. Are you good at this? Um, no, but we can do. We can give it a try. Roll it open. Ooh. Woo! Oh my god. Oh my god. I really don't. Um. <laughs> See, what I'm trying to avoid is that we don't, we can't do it, and then we end up, we end up having Andrew to build it. Like that would be defeating all the purpose. Like we, I want to surprise Andrew for once instead of having him come build it. It would be different if you like, hey Andrew, can you come build this and then surprise yourself? Ooh, these are really cute. Whatever this is for. Seven steps. That seems easy. You finished? What? Bro, we just finished unboxing. Hey. Whoa, is it? Are you sure? Did you test it? How do I test this? Is it by Sophie? I'm gonna try to open the outlet cover. Where was Sophie go? I've seen her go near here a lot. You have to show me something? Hold on. Okay, let's see if it works. It falls off. It doesn't stay. Um, hello? Oh man, this is not good. I'm gonna work on the gate. It's a really hectic morning. Look at this bad boy. Whoa, look at this. Fancy. It's a lot more complicated than I thought. A lot of screws. Let's see. Hopefully, I don't need Andrew. I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I did find this little support thing. I put it right here that blends in perfectly with the railing. Bro, the energy is tense in there. Everyone's frustrated. All I hear is Dan then just hammering away upstairs. I'm not sure what he's doing. What? Bro, this is so hard. It's not easy being a father. Stephanie is on the way home now. We can use all the manpowers we can get, even though she won't be much help. Stephanie is changing into a t-shirt because uh, it's getting intense in here. <laughs> okay, let's go check on how, how the crepe is going. I'm hearing a lot of, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, okay. How's it going? It's actually kind of fun. Oh yeah? No, for real. It's like, it's like building a Lego. Okay, let me use this drill real quick. I'll be right back. This is getting complex. I'm taking out my Honti Bone Dad toolbox. 
Welcome home! Okay, hurry. We can use all the help we can get. <sighs> The hole is too small. Now we turn it up tight. See if you know what I mean. Honey, I knew like you're useless. <laughs> oh shoot, it's too loose now. I'm starving. I got a bag of popcorn. I'm gonna go upstairs and see what they're doing, but also see what they want for lunch. Hello. 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 <laughs> Nothing is done. <laughs> hey, you look so cute. Link in the description. <laughs> she said. No, no. Shirt, yeah, bro. you don't look good. Bro, Pilates was good. I'm dying. What do you guys want for lunch? I got you anything. What you want? Anything. Howdy Lao. Howdy Lao. He said howdy Lao. Oh, <laughs> guys, they're 20 minutes away. You guys almost done? Okay. I think I kind of did it, but let's test it out. It's a little crooked because of the railing at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of awkward because of the railing bottom. It's kind of loose here. But I think it's gonna do the job. I hope. You're grunting. I was trying to help my fiance, but you're about to grunting. I think we're like T minus 10 minutes now. Yes, what's going on? <laughs> what just, I just hear her grunting. Dendet, why is she doing all the work? Dendet messed it up. Can we get a hammer? Oh, you need a hammer? I'll be right back. I think that they might have attached it the wrong way. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> no, Was this your fault? I don't even know. Bro, they're coming in 10 minutes! Um, <laughs> do you guys love that I'm just vlogging? Outside. This is Mission Impossible. Hey guys! Hi. Wow, it's so nice! Should we go on a walk? Sophie! I miss you, it's so nice! Should we go on a walk, everyone? Sure. We're the most pregnant oh person in the world right now! I know. <gasps> Sophie! Did you miss you? Sophie! Fuck you! Bruh. So bad. They're very my style, you know? <laughs> well, she's like really calm and being nice to me right now. I don't know why. <laughs> Meanwhile... They're here. Guys, they're here. Okay, almost there. Okay, how, how many minutes? Like, five more minutes. Five more minutes? Okay, let me distract them. So, my so, is gonna pop any day now. Do you guys like the new couch? Yeah. Is it comfortable? I know, I heard you. Your sister's gonna pop any day now. Yes. Could be today. Oh my god, Sophie got huge! Wow, Sophie's big! Do you think she remembers you now? She knows who you are right now, still. Oh yeah. yeah. Sophie, do you remember me? Like, nah, she doesn't. Say hi. Sophie, hi! She knows how to say hi now? Yes. No way. Nah, I don't believe it. No, she did! She Literally, even on FaceTime, she does like this. Hi! <laughs> she said, <laughs> For you. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, babe, I have a surprise for you. You have a surprise for me? Yes, I'll be right back. <laughs> Can you pull it? Pull it hard. Pull it hard. Pull it hard. Sophie, here's a spider for you. Um, Tiger wants to eat it. <laughs> Bro, she's chilling today. Straight chilling. Go show them upstairs. Oh, they scream like a little. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, guys, how's it going? We yeah. bought some sheets for the mattress. Cover a little baby book bag. This room's so cute, no? I love this room. Then then you look like you're dying. And okay, now we got the baby mattress. Wait, what? Two baby I accidentally bought two. The <laughs> other one, if they pee the bed. Ah, uh, we can just swap it out. I yeah, like sir. it. A backup. Guys, don't worry. We're gonna wash this, but just for the presentation of them seeing this room, we're gonna put it on the the crib. Then, then, what do you think? Um, 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 um. It's, 
it's, I know, right? Look at this. It's like we have a nursery, guys. And the lighting, the lighting. here. So cute. Oh, Sir, Dad, come on. We got things to do. I have stuff to show you. Lunch is on the way. How can you take a pre-lunch nap? Is that just the dad life? Do you guys notice anything different about this house? You guys notice Okay, no, no. Oh, like behind this couch? You guys see anything at all? You see nothing? Sophie's pointing. Sophie's pointing. Come on, Opa. Nothing? Oh. Andrew, look closer. Look deep lower. Oh. We got outlet covers. Oh yes, we did. If you guys walk this way. Oh, yes. this <laughs> We got so she doesn't fall down to the basement. Wow. What do you think, Dad? Wow. Is it dad approved? Yeah. All right, Sophie. Test. No? She said, that's true. She cute. said, I don't even want to go there. She said, that was a dumb purchase. <laughs> And now if you guys follow me up the stairs. Sophie is unimpressed though. Like she has not cared about a single thing that's happened. In fact, she seems upset about the outlet-ish situation. So, uh, Opa, what do you think is happening? Um, wow, we're building it up so strong right now. Okay, nothing impressive. A bedroom? You we're gonna give Sophie a bedroom? You think we're gonna she use a whole ready? room no. for her? No, no. <laughs> Mommy, what company you guys use? We got the same baby cam, so we can leave her up here. Oh, but we need you to set it up because I don't know how to set it up in a way that you can. And then here's a hot topic backpack for the child. A baby book bag. A baby. I don't know what that is. Okay, but I heard you needed it. So. Whoa. This is what she does in the crib. She's like, I'm not sleepy, don't put me in here. Sophie, she said, thank you. You made me a room in your house. That's so sweet. That's her reaction. She said, of course, it was so dessert. That I don't have a baby, but here we are, nursery. <laughs> I'm so excited. So my mom kind of knows what's going on because she was thinking about it too. When my sister gives birth at the hospital, Sophie's staying at our place for a while and she was stressing like, what do I do? We don't have a crib. It's so hard to sleep with her. So now, Oma, Oma, you look so pretty. It's like a fashion runway. Are you ready? Oh, 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 The lighting in here is impeccable. Honey, what? like you vlogging in this room is the prime mom vlogger. Mommy house. vlogger! Is this my future, guys? Cause that's kind of wild. This is this whole look is wild. I feel like I'm pregnant. I feel like I'm getting ready for my nursery. <laughs> Literally, this vibe is weird. <laughs> so my sister, when were you supposed to give birth? So she her she was gonna go to the hospital, give birth on the 16th, but she went to her OBGYN today, and they said any day now. Any day. Okay. I see. You can, I, I don't see. see. You connected to the wi <laughs> What's up? Oh my god. Oh my god. Is my mom, mom brought, brought over is the bringing baby, baby pictures <gasps> to the nursery. Do they have a row of dads? It looks like fiance's got the child, then then has got the high chair. It takes a village, they say. Okay, so I am so excited for this lunch. 
You have no freaking idea. Holy cow. I got one of the best Chinese foods in the area. It's like a mix of Malaysian food, Chinese food. The first on the menu, lump crab garlic noodles. Just with juicy, juicy crab meat. Are you seeing this? Oh, delicious. This is a mango pineapple freaking shrimp. A bang bang firecracker shrimp. It smells like heaven. This is the same as the lump crab noodles, but we got them in the shrimp version, which I think it's gonna be scrum deliumptious. Look at that. We got the same firecracker, but in the chicken version. Oof. Oh my God, these soups. We got a pork belly noodle spicy Sichuan style. We got another, this is the five spice pork belly. It literally looks delicious. And then we got some Sichuan beef noodles. Don't be messing with the camera, Sofa. It's such a cute nursery. She's tired. Mm -hmm. oh, oh did she just throw your phone? Yeah. <laughs> she literally just. I just have one thing and one thing only to add to this conversation. Guys, I have been so paranoid recently. I don't know what's going on. There's something in the air. There's some weird vibes going on. So at first, my dad got into a car accident. This was like months ago, okay? And his car was totaled. Then Dan Dan gets into a car accident. His car is totaled. Then my fiance's dad and his grandpa, did you know this? The truck we bought the truck is totaled. Bought? Totaled! Oh. Totaled! It's like all the all the accident we have recently, all cars are totaled, but people are fine. Yeah. My Your mom, mom too? Oh well, yeah! Oh my god! What? His mom got into a car accident yeah, and her car was totaled! Recently? Yeah. And then her uncle came a few days ago, yes. did you hear? Oh yeah! He, he oh, but here's what's creepy about that incident. That morning, I wake up and the first thing I needed to do was take my little vitamins. I always do the same routine. Every morning, I grab a little plate to gather my vitamins Vitamin. and I literally grab it and I saw it in slow motion. Go from my hand right above the ground and it, I just, it's almost like my hands just opened it. It was the weirdest thing. I wasn't holding anything else. Just this one plate. I let it go mid air. And I was so shocked at myself. Okay. That I stood there, he was there, my mom was there. And I go, wait, what just, why did I do that? And he was like, oh, it's okay, babe. Like, it's like the plate down. just jumped out of her hand. Yeah. Time. And, and then that moment, I think, is when he got into an accident. The and uncle. Then almost after we cleaned it up, my mom gets a phone call. Uh -huh. And my uncle got into a car accident. <laughs> It's so weird. And he said the police are on their way. So we had to go meet him. And then my mom went to my sister's house. Mm -hmm. She dropped a plate and it shattered. Oh. She called every single person and was like, don't get in the fucking car. No matter what you do, <laughs> don't you freaking dare. Didn't you drive somewhere and she picked you up? Yeah, she was that paranoid. She's like, don't you dare get in a car. Can you come here, my child? Your child? I'm her godmother, which is ironic because I don't love children, but I love you. <laughs> Oh, she does not want this. So I have a question for you, Opa. Yeah. If there was one thing that you will teach your child growing up, what will it be? Don't take crap from no one, especially men. Oh. Oh, oh I like that one. Oh, oh yeah. Damn. Oh yeah. But you know what's funny? I don't think she will. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, my sister does not. Oh, should we stick her in the crib and leave? Let's sure. do it. Let's, Let's do it. All right. So we stick her in here. We're gonna be watching her. They said if you give her like three minutes, she knocks out. So. Did you see that? Really, That's Dad has to give her. Signs of fatigue. <laughs> She's sleeping like that, upside down. Okay, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. She's about to go. Can you tap oh on her, Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Oh my gosh, she's, oh my gosh, so, she's cute. so cute. Now she's got her thumb in her mouth. Probably another 10 minutes, she'll be on. 10 minutes? Oh I would say 10 seconds. She looks like, yeah. <laughs> she looks like she's drunk. Oh, she's so happy though. Does she not look drunk? No. <gasps> she's holding a beer. Oh, she's wrapping yeah. a beer. Oh my god. Oh my god, do you see this? I mean, I guess you see it every day. <laughs> My fiance was reading online and he was talking about like these two college guys who were in the dorm shower together and one of them was showering and he noticed that the other guy literally had his mouth, had his mouth blown up like this. So he's like, hey, is everything okay? Like, what are you doing? What's wrong with your mouth? And the guy says, mmm. And he splurts out all this water that he had inside of his mouth. And he says, oh, I just had water in my mouth while I shower. You don't do that? The guy's like, why would I do that? That's weird. Who told you to do that? Why do you do that? I yeah. do that so I don't catch a cold. Uh-huh. My sister, so the pharmacist, is like, um, 
excuse me? <laughs> no, no. So his friend yeah. like, what do you mean you don't catch a cold? Yeah. He's like, oh no, like ever since I was little, that's what my mom taught me. Like when I'm showering, as long as I keep watering in my mouth, I don't catch a cold. Because do you know why the mom told him that? Ever since he was young, when he showers, he sings and he yells and cries. Oh my God. <laughs> told him that and then she never had the heart to tell him it was a lie so he went to college putting water in his mouth while he showered so do you guys think this is, is good parenting genius? or bad parenting that's pretty genius <laughs> i mean i don't think it's bad parenting it's not like it hurt him wouldn't you guys teach do that to sophie i mean we probably would do something like that probably not that because now i know <laughs> but we probably would do something similar just like you know to yeah. not get her to do certain things mm -hmm. and then that would probably you know stick with her like how they tell you santa's watching did you know there was this one redditor who said that he wrapped up fake presents and he would keep them on the side and every time his kids were bad during christmas he would throw one in the fireplace <laughs> but they were fake presents no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm glad that this nursery is working out. It's beautiful. The lighting in there is so amazing. The fact that we literally did not even think of this sooner. What's wrong with us? I can't wait to just. I'm gonna sit in there and work. I'm gonna hang out with Sophie. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments, did you get taught something weird from your parents? The one thing that I can think of is the fact that my mom used to take my allowance money and say it was for my future. <laughs> I never got it back. Did she? I think that's like all parents. <laughs> Are you guys gonna do that to Sophie? No, we've been oh, yeah. in, her, in her bank. Yeah, she has a bank, Sophie has a bank account that every family member contributes to every month and I'm like, where was my bank account? <laughs> where was my bank account? I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.